what day is it? Saturday at the moment. On Wednesday, got a call from Ethan saying I think it'd be a good idea to turn the saddle room into a pizza restaurant. Thought it might be a stupid idea if it is again. And um, now we're ripping up the carpet. Who did that? Connor? Connor? Tommy, can you take this one? He's done a word. Tommy. So there was 10 of us and we'd all been working really hard and then lockdown happened, coronavirus happened, the businesses are shut and we've got nothing to do. So we thought, let's open a restaurant. <laughs> pizzas came about because we, um, we started doing pizzas at the pubs. It's sourdough, it's that really chewy crust, it's burnt on the outside. The toppings are local, fresh, seasonal. So we found this space, which is a 17th or 18th century um, saddle room for the coaching in the Pembroke Arms. It's now laid out as a function room, but it's completely underutilized, it's never used. And there's a garden out here which is huge, and it's next to two adjacent rivers, um, lots of shade, it's just perfect. Um, in here, the idea is to get to strip everything back to being an old barn. How do you get carpets up? Google it. Everyone's attitudes towards eating and meeting is going to are going to change significantly, and we need to make sure that we can we can work with that. Strong <laughs> boy. What do you think about opening a restaurant during coronavirus? Yeah, that's a f mental idea. <laughs> Might have to bleep that out. But uh, this is Noel. Noel is a five-month-year-old oh, whippet. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's absolutely gas machine. Did you close off meat eating an apple? I'll be eating. <laughs> Support local. That'll be a really good episode. The biggest challenge about opening a restaurant during a pandemic is pr primarily the fact that you can't open. From opening the teapots, we realised that you, the way that you do things, you can think about it as much as you like, but some things work and some other things don't. Because we're opening this now, we have to think about the worst possible case scenario when it comes to legislation and regulation about how we can operate. So we had a meeting this morning with a kitchen guy who, who formulated the, the plans for the kitchen and everything is worked out so that a set number of people can work behind it whilst also maintaining a, a certain distance between them. We're passionate about food, we like developing new ideas, we like being creative. And so the biggest thing for us is kind of creating a viable business model whilst also ensuring the safety of our guests and our, and our team. <laughs> We're thinking about perhaps lending picnic blankets to people that they can just take at their own accord and, and sit down wherever they want and they can eat their pizza and they can drink their beer and they can have their fun with their friends and groups of uh, X amount of people. Good shot, we like. It's literally picnics. We facilitate picnics. We're picnic facilitators. <laughs> <laughs> right, drop it. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll walk in, and there's going to be a big menu on the side here. You'll have the counter that goes from here to here. Big old pizza oven right behind. Somebody here taking money, which means the person making pizzas can kind of operate without getting too close to the um, member of staff over here. The dog will be fixed onto the wall. <laughs> Hi and welcome to Pizza Hut. <laughs> what is here? Joystick. <laughs>